Hey guys and welcome to episode 5 of my American Milsim series, Operation Copperhead 2.5. Now this episode will make this the longest Milsim series I've ran on the channel. So if you are enjoying the series, of course, don't forget to support it by leaving a like and a comment down below. So this is the beginning of day 2, so if you have missed the end of day 1, I will leave a link to episode 4 down in the description below. I know, yeah, that's so shit. <laughs> I've got eyes on nothing right here. There's nobody. Okay, yeah, we've got guys crossing the street, left to right right now. Three guys, four guys, five guys. All right. Yeah, I've got five guys to just cross right to left. Wait, 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 as well, I can just see, you know this alleyway on your left now? Yeah. I, I can see heads, I can't confirm who it is, but there's helmets. So there's guys in this alleyway as well. First one? Yeah, yeah. Right, lads, let's go, come on. So, as you heard me saying to Jet there, I could see enemy units moving from the compounds on the left-hand side of the street across to the right-hand side of the street. So whilst he took his group straight up the centre, we decided to flank round to the right-hand side and try and get behind the compounds. See the guy in the corner, at the top right? Now as Robo Mori leads the squad up towards the compound where we saw the enemy, we suddenly start to hear voices in the building to the compound to our left hand side. So we move in to try and investigate. Open garage, open front windows. Now as I push up to the edge of the building here, you'll see just how close I come to getting taken out. You're gonna hear two BBs smacking into the wall directly next to my head. And if we take a look at the barrel cam, you'll actually see those rounds coming in. We're taking five. Yep, one in front door. So we now have enemy players inside the building and shooting at us from the compound from across the street. So right now, Guys, we're in a pretty tight situation. Right there, he's hitting this wall. So watch yourself. Guys, careful, yeah, he's shooting from that wooden tower there. He's got eyes on you if you stood there. You see him? I don't see him. Directly on the other side, the next wall, he's right up against it in a little wooden, gotcha. little wooden thing. Does that wall lead out? Or are we in? We're in here. Hey, why don't you guys take like five guys, go out, go down to the next opening, clear that next one down. Let's go. Let's go, Greg. So while the rest of the squad finish up clearing this compound, myself, Greg and Kiyoki decide to push up to the next compound and try and get the jump on the enemy. Now at this point I realise there's enemy players literally on the other side of this wall and there's also players out in the bushes so by pushing up to this alleyway I've got myself in a nice blind spot but the rest of my squad who are behind me are now trapped out in the open. Yeah, I got enemy 
know, after shooting that guy in the head there, I've completely given away my position. So I try and relocate and completely forget there's still guys in this tower and get myself taken out. Now, as the rest of the squad push up from the previous compound, they can move up to our position and get myself, Greg and Kyoki back in the fight. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I've got wax from that tower, yeah. So with Robo medicing me back into the fight, it's now time to try and actually do something about these guys who've been hassling us from this tower. There's two in the tower. He's down, he's down, he's down. Watch yourself, because there's a guy in this tower here. Cross coverage. I'm gonna deal with this. I'll be right back. Who's this guy? Yeah, so all the way down there. Yep, the watch it. On the left. Hey, Robo's out on his own. Watch that corner, Robo. Watch that corner. Searching you. Have you got any intel on you? Ah, there you got it. Watch that corner. Watch that corner. Shall I back him up? Yeah, go. Go. Now, whilst the rest of the squad are holding that position in the alleyway, myself and Robo move back down the street to try and flank around the back of this compound and take out any guys inside. Eyes on, he could be dead. One dude, 100 meters out. They're, they're three guys, they're moving into that compound. Oh, they're moving out, sorry. Okay, five, five guys. Looks like it. But there's one that might not be. We did. Now by this point, the rest of the squad were going to push up the road to try and clear the buildings held by the enemy. So if I could stay on this side of the road and try and get a high position, I could hopefully try and provide cover and support for the team as we try and move up to the buildings. This building! Incoming! We've got our people behind this next building. If you get to there, but there's guys behind this one here. Yeah, just keep that one tied down. Keep an eye on this one, man. Maybe cover me too. 
Okay, okay. As the team advance up and start pushing on the first buildings, I move across to the left hand side of the compound to try and stop the enemy team from outflanking the rest of my squad. The only issue now is, I'm becoming very aware that I'm completely alone and if I try and push up too far, I may end up surrounded completely by myself. Guys! You've got people behind the next building! Now you will notice in today's video it was a little bit windy in the morning and we were trying to shoot at targets at quite some distance but because the awesome guys at G&G had supplied me with their 0.33 gram BBs which is a little bit heavier than what I'm used to using of course in the UK because the FPS limit is lower I would normally go for a kind of 0.25 BB but these BBs, that extra weight kept them pretty accurate at great distance so I've got to say I was really impressed with these BBs they held up in the wind and pretty accurately at distance Now as the rest of the team are pushing up from building to building on the right hand side of the street, I try and keep pace and keep level with those guys on the left hand side of the street to try and keep their left hand flank secure. And it also means I can see onto the next buildings giving them eyes on to targets. But as I said, I'm very aware that the more I push up and get closer to the enemy, the more I'm putting myself in a situation where I may end up surrounded. Now as I move up to this left hand corner, because I wasn't running a sling like I would usually do at one of these events, I actually switched to my off hand and I can check the left hand corner with the weapon in my left hand, which is definitely something I would prefer to do, but usually because I run a sling that's attached to my plate carrier, sometimes in a quick situation it can be a little bit of a fumble to try and switch to your off hand, so just pieing the corner quicker with my right hand can be an advantage, but normally if you have the time, switching to your off hand to check those left hand corners is definitely preferable. Now by this stage I start to realise I have gone too far, the rest of my squad have been taken out and the enemy definitely know where I am and I'm going to end up trapped inside this building. They're at the back of the building, at the front of the building, if I want to get out of here alive I need to move quick. Woo. With the enemy putting fire onto the back door now suppressed and taken out, if I want to get out of here, it needs to be right now. As I fall back to the outside of the building, I can see the rest of the squad that were outside across the street have been taken out, and any survivors have fallen back. So I fought back myself to try and regroup with the remainder of the squad to try and formulate a plan to try and rescue the rest of the team. So unfortunately our assault and attempt to push back the enemy was a little bit of a failure so far but again that's how these things go at a milsim. I was just lucky not to push too far forward and be able to break out of that deadlock and fall back to the rest of the squad. So if you guys want to see what happens in the next episode, the finale of this series, make sure you stay tuned. And of course if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. But in the meantime guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Grenade, what's up?